Hello, everyone, and uh, I want to say thank you to the hostess with the mostesses, uh, <laughs> oh Annie Potter <laughs> and Liz Oak, for joining me yet again Hi on everybody. Cannon Fire. Hey. Uh, this is going to be a different one. This one, I'm going to I'm gonna do it in a different way. I'm going to do the editing so Jim doesn't bitch. Um, oh. Uh, oh, we can say that now. We can say the B word. We can say whatever the fuck we want. Oh, yay! We are an oh, adult man. show, and now I can be an adult and be and say adult things. I mean, I'm tired of restricting. This is the internet. I mean, if you can't handle a little fuck, maybe you should get the <laughs> fuck out. Um, right. But yeah, this is... Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this show, mm -hmm. cut it up together. I'm still going to send it to Lewis so we could still post it on 247miami.tv backslash radio. Hi. Uh, listen to us there. And then I'll put it still on Cannon Fire's YouTube and post up pictures instead of video because uh, I don't have a tripod. So <laughs> that, that, that in lies the problem. Anyway, um, so here we go, folks. Uh, so the first segment, we are right now, all three of us, we're big, huge uh, horror fans, right? We, we all oh, love yes. horror. Um, Annie is probably the one that loves horror more than Liz and I. Um, but we are starting... Much horror. <laughs> we're starting now uh, a playthrough of yeah. Evil Within. Yes, it's a game that's like two years old. Um, but we are starting now because we want to finish it before Evil Within 2 well, comes out. What do you guys think about Evil Within, first of it's, all? It's not that we're starting it now. It's that we are restarting it for the fifth time. <laughs> so you would <laughs> say re, 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 restarting. Got it. Exactly. <laughs> but to answer your question, I, I freaking love that game. Um... It's just a good, gory game. The story so far from what little we've, I've consistently seen five times in a row is, is pretty interesting. I want to know what happens to him. Um, the only thing that terrifies me is the zombie people, whatever the heck they are, because I'm terrified of yeah, zombies. I, I'm a weirdo like that. <laughs> would you consider them zombies? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't really think they're... No, no, I... They're not traditional zombies. No. They're the undead. They're infected, I feel, is what it is. It's an infection. Right. So far. And they just burst out with, like, some barbed wire around, or they're and walking... Tentacles, and they're, they lose, like, half their face. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, they still stand after getting shot in the head. Like, that kind of rule takes literally out... literally blew yeah. their face off, and they were still standing. And then we have some with nails, and then we have those with masks that protect their faces from being shot. Yeah, Freaking and they're great. wielding weapons, so it's, it's not, for me, traditional zombies. Yeah, no, no, they're not. I don't, I don't really consider them traditional zombies, but the fact that they, you know, they will bite you, and, and in turn, you, I believe you also get infected, or at least, you know, you die. Um, that's not a very settling <laughs> thing for me. <laughs> What's another thing that... That's quick to point out. Liz is a huge, huge fan of the Resident Evil movies. Um, I'm a huge, huge fan of the Resident Evil games. I actually like the Resident Evil movies, too. I have not had the liberty of watching you play all of the Resident Evil games. I have seen you play the first one, and I do like the first one a lot. Yeah, actually. the first one's beautiful, especially the remake. Yes, mm -hmm. I actually um, really like the remake version, too. But... What I wanted to point out is that Shinji Mikami, mm -hmm. I hope I pronounced his name right, he is the one behind Evil Within 1 and 2. He's the writer and he's one of the lead programmers, I believe. He is also the father of Resident Evil. Like, he did every Resident Evil, he made even some spin-offs, until Resident Evil 5, which every fan <laughs> can agree was like the death note of... Of Resident Evil. Like, that's... After that, you could just quit. <laughs> like, as soon as you hit five, you're done. The good times have have stopped until we got to Resident Evil 7, 
which we'll do a playthrough of that eventually. I hope so. I, I actually, yeah. I really, really want to see you or someone. Anyone. I have yet to touch it because Liz and I are trying. Wait, to... Wait, Ricky was the one that wanted to play with with us, right? Right. Okay, Ricky needs to freaking get back at me, man. God. Uh, Liz and I are trying to finish Resident Evil Six. Mm -hmm. I personally refuse going on to the next game without <laughs> beating the previous game, no matter how fucking bad and shit Resident Evil Six is. I mean, just, just I, try to get by, guys. The second you can just get by. Ada then, Wong isn't Asian. Actually, that bothers me to no end. Uh, actually, I want to <laughs> clarify, yes. ladies and gentlemen, that every single time that Adrian and I have played Resident Evil 6, he has always complained, why can't we just play 7 already? <laughs> Instead of just stopping at 6, like stopping where we're doing, and just going to 7. And I always, always say, we gotta continue, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta complete it. I mean, yeah, it's the completionist in me, but I also, I'm, I don't, I don't have a lot of time <laughs> to waste <laughs> on shit games I mean... or shit movies. I don't have the time and energy to spend on this. I, I could do things with my time that are infinitely more productive. I could... I would rather take a laxative and be stuck in the bathroom for seven hours than play Resident Evil 6. I've wasted it's in my time on shit, on shit horror movies, so I, I can't, uh... I, I yeah, can't. speaking of which, you just watched one, right? You were talking to me a little bit. It, it wasn't shit, it wasn't shit. Um, it's that it started a little slow in the beginning. What's the name? Um, I am the pretty thing that lives in the house. Man, you are a pretty thing. Aww. <laughs> that was really gay. Wow. Uh, <laughs> See, she can say that. I can't. <laughs> I'm bisexual, guys. So <laughs> I've been with both, I swear. If you if you didn't know then, you know now. Never. Yeah, everybody knows now. Yeah. Hey, uh, what's up, y'all? It's um, <laughs> literally the first thing she'll say when she walks in the that door. That is not the first thing that I will say. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the second thing right after. Hi, I'm Aaron. That is not the first thing that I say. I haven't done that since Liz, college. Liz, I haven't done I, that since college. When I first met Annie. That was in college. <laughs> she was... Yes, we were in the yes. anime club. I'm addressing the room, and all of a sudden, in walks. No, in it wasn't even in a room. It was out in broad daylight, right in front of the security no, guards. Were, My I, mom works with them. I remember the room because this was the first time you announced it to the entire anime club, not just to me. And you walked. I met you in. before the anime club. You right? did, but I didn't know you were gay. I did say it though. I, I didn't gay. hear it. Yes, you did. <laughs> I didn't hear, I heard it the second time when you came in this room oh my and this Lord. beautiful, gorgeous, little short, big titty, beautiful woman oh walks in and immediately says, hi everyone, I'm gay. And I just heard so many hearts of so many virgins just break. <laughs> Like, oh shit, we had a chance. No, you never had a chance. But, oh shit, the illusion of chance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like dick guys, but <laughs> yes. But then you just said just you were really gay. I'm just really picky, and, and I end up picking assholes, so I'm just gonna not. Yeah. Well, all right. This is getting to be Ricky's other show, the Love Line show. <laughs> right, Ricky, to... get on that. <laughs> wow, we're putting Ricky on blast. Here. I know, right? I love him. <laughs> um, awesome, yeah, though. we we love you, Ricky. I know. Um, speaking of. Putting things on blast. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Another game that I really want to get, and we're also, you know, going to get, aside from Evil Within 2, Please. is the new Wolfenstein, because I really need to kill Nazis. <laughs> I have this uh, unquestionable need. I wonder oh. why. Am, I mean, it, is it might be the Jew blood in me that's no. burning with a fiery rage. I wonder <laughs> why. It is commonly accepted that it is your civic duty to punch a Nazi. So, everyone, get in line. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, not to get super political, but all the, the stuff that's happening in Virginia yeah. and stuff, and we're at the brink of civil war. It's a good time to bring out a game where you get to kill a bunch of Nazis and KKK members. They are confirmed you get to kill KKK members Yay. in the new Wolfenstein. Isn't that oh, great? Man, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I'm going to enjoy just murdering all of them. Maybe well, with a flamethrower so the hood can oh man. burn. Anyway, a, this is... too much of a Hufflepuff. I'm really ashamed of myself. Um, oh, my Slytherins. 
Because I was about to say, like, maybe we can help them reform. I mean, there's been there, there's been some KKK members that have reformed. They've- yeah, actually, there was a, there was an interesting story I read where they had a, where an African American was friends with like clan members for like 15 years. Yeah. And there's because docu- of him, I, yeah, yeah, there's a documentary about him on Netflix. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. Wow, this show just went off the rails. <laughs> he did, it really did. <laughs> this was uh, supposed to be a nerd show. What yeah. happened? Uh, you could be nerdy about a lot of things, Ellie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Netflix documentaries count. Yeah, I love it's, those. It's an odd segue, but it counts. <laughs> I love those, though. Those are great. I freaking love documentaries. Um. So, yes, back to the games. Uh, right now, Accurate. I want to hear from Liz... You who have seen every Resident Evil game that have shown you and all all of that, and we've played together, and you've played by yourself or tried to because you hate the tank controls. Um, yeah, no. What sorry, do you? Guys, I can't. What I can't do, do you? Do that. What do you feel about Evil Within? What do you like about it? Man, I mean, she actually even played a little bit of Evil Within I, too. I tried, and I legitimately got scared. <laughs> you did? Yes. Yeah. Uh. Was we're it? Just, was we were it Laura? sitting there. We were sitting there. And we're just petrified. And we're screaming like, ah! because you <laughs> the know, lady next door was hate us. <laughs> oh yeah, most definitely. But so you know, sorry. it's one thing like to watch you like play the games, and then something completely different when you're the one that's playing and having the controller. And I don't know, like the beginning part with the butcher, that that run to that little trap door was more like excruciating more terrifying like when i was like when i was doing it versus like watching you doing it like when i when i re saw yeah the scene from your playthrough the recent one yeah the recent one i was just looking at like man this isn't that bad (laughs) but then i remember like like and then remember like actually like holding on to it i'm like fuck (laughs) (laughs) I actually can like I imagine myself playing the game while you guys are playing it. Even though I there are instances where you guys do things that I would never freaking do, um, I have immersed myself enough to where I'm perfectly content with not playing certain <laughs> games. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with not playing certain games. I'm. D- <laughs> You take the wheel, Ellie. Mm. You take the wheel. No problem. Well, if, <laughs> or Adrian, if you want to take the wheel, bro, you go right ahead. Oh. If, if we finish Evil Within, we were going to do Alien Isolation. Mm-hmm. There is another series that I, want to, that I want to continue. Silent Hill? Not just Silent Hill. You were playing one with me. Oh, Fear. Fear. I really want to fucking continue those series because like that game looked really promising to me. We were like a little bit to like halfway there. Mm-hmm. I want to know what happens. I really want to know what happens. Um, I would really like to finish Silent Hill two again. Um, but that HD collection, like they released it really badly. Uh, that company that worked on it mm-hmm. for that HD collection closed down. For good reason. Oh, I don't know. Um, I mean, it was it was just a shoddy job. Speaking mm. of, because I just see Fallout Three, there's a Fallout Four Game of the Year edition coming out September 29th. Are you at all interested, Liz? Interested in making houses? Yes, in in Sims and post apocalyptia You didn't Sign know. Me you, up. You, you, you could sim it up, man. You could sim it up. So you get to have sex with the prostitute and make her a home. What yeah. good? Oh my god, yes! What good? The what good, realized. yo? What good? I set you up. <laughs> there, there you go. We'll be right back after these <laughs> words from my non existent sponsors, because if I had any, they would have left me already. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, just letting you know from right now, from right on now, <laughs> we're going all out on Game of Thrones spoilers. If you don't want to hear Game of Thrones spoilers, you might as well just get out. Get out. <laughs> um, no, but stay. You know, at least leave a like and share. Um, Man, this is su- like such a tease. I am a tease, uh, <laughs> but I never deliver. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, listen. <laughs> so here we go on Game of Thrones spoilers, and I want to hear from Liz. 
who has yet to see <laughs> season... Which seasons have you been missing? I'm two to six. <laughs> Jesus no, Christ! I've been seeing half of season two and most of well, four, oh, okay, five, good. and I've seen six. I started with six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Way to, <laughs> way to work backwards. Man. I started her in like the worst way possible. I started her like I started Star Wars. Let's start with number six, seven, and eight. Well, and we, it helped that uh, and that we do time. one, two, and. Uh, uh, whatever. Yeah, but it helped at the time. We all got it. it uh, yeah. That, you know, season six was starting. But I can say, mm -hmm. after hearing everything that happens in season two and whatnot, I think this massacre of the Lannister army is... Well-deserved? Is well-deserved of the best massacre in the entire series. <laughs> I don't know if it's the best massacre because it's just when Stan one that was when, long overdue. When Stannis's army was wiped out, that was a pretty good massacre. <clears throat> or the Battle of Blackwater, where Stannis no, took a know, big what, L. Then what was what? What was a really good one was the Battle of the Bastards. I feel that like. was a great battle. That was a really good But that, that wasn't really a massacre. It was like really even. Uh, and I thought uh, really did massacre. you forget the scene where John was almost literally buried alive by bodies? <laughs> bodies? Right, but I... Dead didn't... bodies, Adrian. Did you have to crawl out of freaking two, three feet of dead body? I don't think so, my friend. What I'm trying to say is <laughs> that for me, in my opinion, a massacre is when one side completely wipes out the other. The Battle of the Bastards was really even. The, okay, then the, uh, the, the, oh man, where was it? That town, where, the wildling town, they got like completely Hard obliterated. Hard home. Hard home. Oh man, that was, just, that was just. I don't know, guys. That was a massacre. The Lannister army was literally on fire. <laughs> you could say it was lit. <laughs> it was the most lit episode I mean, so was Lady Tyrell, series. but, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> like, way, way, to, way to bring down the, the mood. <laughs> but no lie, she became, like, everyone's favorite character. Like, that. Oh, Lena Tyrell, yes. That's what I was talking moment. about, Lady the the queen the queen marjorie marjorie cyril oh. um the and, i made you sad no and yes <laughs> yes Be who dies this season okay it can't be cersei she's gonna die next season that's that's her thing she's gonna live there i was, and, okay, and I, I was under the suspicion that Wormtail was going to die. I'm not so sure that he's going to die just yet. The Grey Worm. Grey Worm. Yeah. yeah. Um, he, bro, but this episode fucked up Cersei's plan completely. It did. Yes. Completely. It did. So they, they have like one less of those things, but I'm pretty sure they can make another one. The only problem is, is that... No, it's well, that all the food and money that was going from one place to another. Oh, the yeah. That's all gone. That's, exactly. That's a lot of money owed. Yeah. And a Lannister can't pay their debts when they don't have Casterly Rock. Nope. Or the, the Tyrell money. The bank is going to turn on them. Yeah, the of bank, course. The bank is going to turn on them. The, the bank's probably going to go with um, Daenerys. Daenerys. And, of course... John still isn't bending that knee, though. Oh, my God. Look, I'm really sick and tired of hearing the stupid bend the knee crap. Like, she, she really needs to stop. I really hate that. It is so freaking pretentious. You have to prove yourself to the slaves. You have to prove yourselves to the people of Westeros, too. You're literally a stranger to them. They don't know you. They don't have to trust you. And they definitely don't have to like you. Your last name is Targaryen. You're frowned upon, literally. You have to prove that you're different from them. Otherwise, there's absolutely no way you're going to win over any kingdom at all. And doing it by force just makes you just as disgusting as the people before you. Yeah. Also, her dad, the Mad King. Because it's get she's getting a little cuckoo kachu. Yeah, she's going <laughs> berserk and it's pissing me the hell Don't off. Don't judge me for my father's actions. Your father was good friends with Robert Baratheon, right? <laughs> yeah. And he pled, and you pled fealty to my father. So, don't judge me. I'll judge you. 
Danny fucking forever. Danny. God, man. Really fucking like, Danny. Got, oh, my God. And then, like, the thing that upset me was that John and, um, oh, my God, what's his name? I forgot his name. Sir Davis Yes, Yeah, Sir Davis <laughs> They went up to um, Miss Ande and they asked her, this is why Snow. did she, like, you know, like, you know, basically, like, the whole. This is John Snow. <laughs> oh, my God, stop. I love Sir He's Davis. He's a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he was literally killed. <laughs> he, okay, but he didn't get to see anything about that. Yeah. Oh man. I love how John shot him and looked like, come on, man, they'll just <laughs> out me. I really hope that she finds out like what exactly happened to him, so she realizes like you know he's not lying. Yeah. There's no reason for him to lie, uh, but you know she doesn't know that. Whatever. But um, basically, the the. What I was trying to say is like the that scene where they go up to Masande and they ask her like, oh, like you know, you're you were a slave, right? So why did you choose to stay with her? Oh, because of this, because of that, because of this, because of that. But the thing is that like she gave them, she gave them a choice. She's not giving anyone in Westeros a choice here. Yeah, it's either join she, me or, or die. Literally, that that's literally what she fucking said. She literally yeah. said, join me or die. And that's complete nonsense. Like, how, how first of all, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> you know why Annie's super, like, defensive right now, right? <laughs> you know why, right? You know why, right, Liz? No, I know. Why do you why think that? that, Adrian? Someone here, you know, loves a little Jon Snow. Okay, <laughs> it's not because of that. <laughs> it helps, right? You know, it helps. You, you, you know, you know... This one. It's not because she of wants that. to. She wants to use her wildling heart to, no, no, no. to tame to tame the bastard. I'm <laughs> I'm perfectly okay with him being with his beautiful wildling woman that is dead, um, and not dead in real life because he's actually I, with I, her in real life. I know, which is I, great. I love it. Before this season started, everyone was like shipping Danny and John. I no. I really don't want them to That's be his together. Eye. I know I just it's that's disgusting because now and I cannot believe that there's actually people saying so the Lannisters do it these people do I'm like that doesn't make it okay that doesn't make it right it's and still freaking illegal guys not, not in that world They're yes it is actually it is yes don't you remember the high sparrow put Cersei in jail because she was sleeping with her brother there's no high sparrow anymore <laughs> yeah she killed him but she, but but he was following the law. Right. So technically speaking, under the law, they're committing a horrible act that should be frowned upon. Well, and it technically really is, guys. That law was also kind of a shit law because of... Uh, he was also putting Sir Loras Tyrell in jail just because he was gay. Well, it was because he was committing sodomy. And yeah, those are the old, those are the old ways. Right. Sodomy's cool. When it's with consenting adults, cannon fire supports this. You, you be safe, guys. You know what? Okay. Use lube. Always be safe, guys. Yeah, use lube. Uh, and if you need help with getting condoms, Ricky, go 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 to your go to your. This is your cue to clinic. start your show and help these people. What's wrong with sodomy, Annie? Nothing is wrong with that. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Um, Why are you twisting my Game words? Cannon Fire confirms I that Annie that is against sodomy. I meant to help these people, as in like help these people find their free condoms. Jesus Christ, guys. Liz, are you for or against sodomy? Why are you asking these questions? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I feel rather indifferent. <laughs> oh my god! I have to live with you. <laughs> this is this is one of my best friends. Oh my god, these are both of my best friends, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, and that's why we're the golden trio. Yay! Yay! yay. Uh, you guys and this concludes. So enthused. This so con this, enthused. this concludes golden trios. I hate you. Sex ed and sodomy. <laughs> and hatred. <laughs> Anyway, enough about sodomy. Oh my god. Oral. <laughs> <laughs> Cersei did it. I can't believe like we got to see her like blow her brother. That's disgusting. 
We have to remember. I Amy's literally her turned away from the screen. That was so gross. It was it was really bad, but I cannot wait till Jamie kills her. I want Jamie to kill her. It would also everyone it, knows that it's gonna be Jamie. Can it be a? It has suicide? to be Jamie. Can it be a murder suicide? Oh, you murder don't like Jamie. Oh, you want him to kill himself as well? Yes. You don't like Jamie. She doesn't I hate like Jamie. Him. I think he's it, a piece of shit. I think it fulfills his character arc if he kills Cersei. Oh no, I'm not taking that away from you. I actually also kind of agree with her. I think I feel like that's an appropriate thing that he probably ended up doing. I don't feel like he he wants someone to take his own life. Hmm. Or Sir Brienne of Tar could fucking kill them both. I'd be fine with either or. Oh my god, that'd be so beautifully sad. Either or. Like if he with fucking dies sword. defending her. With the sword that he gave her. I, I right. would even be okay with seeing uh, Arya just take Cersei down. Um, Why I'm can't fully everyone pre- just take a turn and just stabbing them? I, <laughs> For I'm, the North. <laughs> the North correct. remembers. <laughs> The correct person to die by that. Um, Arya is gonna kill a more, lot of people. More people, right? I like, hope so. She's probably gonna kill Littlefinger. Right? Like that's oh, dude, it's, it, it, yes. This season, he's dead. Like he has to die. I I get the very beautiful feeling that somehow Arya is going to figure out. That like Bran already knows that that sword, that that knife was used to kill him, and it was Littlefinger that did it. And when she figures it out, she's gonna add him to her list. If he's not already on there, I, I believe he's on there, but uh, he should be. Um, I love. And the she's fact. probably gonna use that knife to kill him. I love the fact that she brought up. Oh, did you kill Joffrey? Uh, no. I mean, I, w- I kind of wish I did. Oh, me too. He was on my list. You have a list? <laughs> like, I felt so bad for Sansa. Like, what is wrong with you? She's like the only normal person there. <laughs> and she's been through so much shit. Like, yes. Yeah. Arya has gotten blind. Yes. But. She wasn't raped. Sansa was raped by Ramsay. And even before that, she had to deal with the shit marriage with Joffrey. And she had, and she was the one that witnessed their her father die. Yeah. Also, Arya did. No, Arya. No, Arya. No, her face was turned away. Oh. Arya was there. She oh. was there, but her face was turned. Yeah. She, yeah. She, the, she heard it though. The night, she heard it, but Sansa actually <laughs> that night it. actually did something nice, which was weird. It was out of character for him to do something like that. He's he was a jerk. Who the hound? The, no, I don't think it was the hound that did that. Oh no! It, it was, was a different. Some... It was a different night. He ended up getting killed because he's a jerk. He, he's a freaking asshole. Mm. But no, but at like the moment, like when he figured out that that was Arya and that like her father was gonna get beheaded, it's just like nope. <laughs> For some reason, he chose to spare the child, which was, in my opinion, strange because I believe that's also the same individual that tried to rape Sansa later on. So, uh, yeah, I don't understand him. I, I just want to wrap this up real quick with, I, I, I really want Ser Jorah to finally get with Danny because that man has been through so much for that woman. You know, I actually really wish that she would give him a chance, if anything, to get her away from John because that's gross. You know what? Yeah, that's a perfectly good valid reason. <laughs> Shit, I'm Shit. even okay with her going back with the pretty boy killer from the other country. I don't care as long yeah, as it's not Yeah, we haven't seen someone... him. We haven't seen oh, the assassin. She... Yeah, she just kind of like I think I totally him. forgot I... that dude's name by the way. I don't I don't care. I don't care. She can get she with another freaking Dothraki. I don't care as long as she's not freaking fucking a family member again. Like let's just stop. Please, don't normalize that behavior. Yeah, I gotta say, um, they dropped that plot line. But, you know, this is Game of Thrones. They tend to drop quite a bit of plot lines. Let's hope they just wrap it up. Bring back Gendry, damn it. Uh, We'll be right back. And so you're back from outer space. And I see you. Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) Um... So we're back again, Liz Oak, Annie Potter. Do you like the fact I gave you guys those names? Yeah, yeah, it's cute. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, <laughs> so we're at the midway point of the show. 
Now we're talking about fun business numbers, stupid shit, and Blu-ray releases. Uh, Wonder yay, Woman. Exciting. Wonder Woman has passed four hundred million dollars domestically. It is currently at seven hundred eighty-six million dollars worldwide. I wish we had like that big board that had sound effects on it so that we could just put like all of these random like clapping sounds and stuff. That feels very appropriate right now. So I can only do this. Good job. She made more money than <laughs> Man of Steel. Good job, bro. She's made Good I don't want to say more money than the Batman movies, but she made more money than Batman Return uh Batman Begins, excuse me. She's made <laughs> More money than most of Marvel. And a lot of people thought Wonder Woman would have failed. A lot of people thought that movie was going to fail. She had a lot of people, a lot of doubters. Even before the movie came out, people were saying that it was a mess. It, it's a travesty that Zack Snyder was working on this movie. <clears throat> that DC doesn't know what they're doing. That Warner Brothers doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, Annie, uh, Annie, uh, Liz <laughs> undoubtedly loves the movie. Course. From a very biased standpoint, she loves the movie. But yeah, <laughs> Annie, Annie, you're you're more critical of superheroes. You're more you're oh, you're yeah. you're probably the more grounded one, as long as it's not dealing with Deadpool. So so can you tell me what you thought of Wonder Woman as a film? Oh, dude, I loved the movie. I absolutely loved the movie. So I was you, very, very happy. I was glad that they they had the original freaking uh, OTP for her. Yes. Steve. I freaking love her with Steve. I hope that she stays by ever with Steve. Even though Steve dead. Even though Steve dead. Well, I don't give a shit. He's alive in the comics. That's all that matters. He's alive if, in the comics and they're anyone, together. If anyone didn't know that, he's alive in the comics. And they're together. Reed and Rebirth. It's super it's cute. So... Oh my god. He is adorable with her. They are adorable. Um, it's called caring too much, man. <laughs> it's curable. Her digital release, Liz, is August 29th. Ooh, yeah, her, later this month. Her physical release is September 19th on Blu ray. There's a nice looking steel book. That we it's found. Beautiful. Um, yeah. How many copies of Wonder Woman are you going to buy? Every single last one of them. You don't have enough money. No. But at least I'll try. <laughs> okay. Um, I, th I think it's safe to assume that... Uh, that we're all going to get it. You and I are going to get it. Any... Is very peculiar when she gets a movie. It's 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 hard to get her a movie. Um, usually, it's us that end up getting her a movie more than she gets a movie herself. True. Uh, I actually don't buy DVDs. No, you don't. I, I, don't, I really don't buy DVDs anymore. I just literally watch everything online, or I stream it on Netflix and Hulu. And, and I really now. want Screenbox. I really want Screenbox. Back. What is Screenbox? Screenbox, to bring it back to the beautiful topic of horror, um, is very much like uh, Netflix, but only horror movies. Only horror. Only horror, and it and it has the all of the beautiful like you know Korean Japanese horror like it has international. It has um, extreme horror. Like, uh, the gore, the gore like porn. Like, cannibal <laughs> corpse type horror. Oh, okay. It has that type of horror, which is the horror that I am going to uh, avoid. Uh, it has... M Please um, don't ever watch The Green Inferno, then. I'm actually going to watch The Green Inferno. No, no, you shouldn't. I, because it's in the... I know. It's in the style I know. of Hannibal, uh, cannibal horror. I know, horror. but I actually heard that after a certain point, the movie goes bad. So, I'm okay. I so, should be okay. So you're interested in how bad it gets? Yes. All right. And like the first I... couple of, like the first 10, 15 minutes, I'm sorry, first 15 minutes of the of the film are where the where the extremeness of it is, and then afterwards it starts going downhill, supposedly, so I want to see if that's actually true or not. But if, it, if, if, it's, if, it's, if it's anything like Cannibal Corpse, like that bad, I will probably not be able to watch it all in its entirety regardless. Cannibal Corpse is a band. She meant Cannibal Holocaust. Cannibal Holocaust. Yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> oh, wow. A band that Jim Carrey likes. Anyway. 
He does? He actually likes Cannibal Corpse. That's so cool. Fun fact, he's such a fan that he put them in the Ace Ventura movie. Oh my god, really? In the first movie, that's where they like got... Where? He, it, <gasps> that's right! In the freaking... Di- yes, that's right! He was in a freaking... In a club, and they were there, and they were playing, and I'm like, oh my god, what the hell? In Miami. Really? Wow! I really liked that. I didn't know it was because he liked them. That's so cool. I'm happy now. I really like Jim Carrey. But has anyone noticed the increase of all of these streaming apps? Yeah. um, Funny you should bring that up. Disney just cut a deal. They erased their deal with Netflix. They removed all of their movies. No way. They're removing all of their content from Netflix? Disney has removed all of their content from Netflix. That's like basically all of the good stuff that's on there for kids. So Disney's going to have their own streaming app. Oh my God. Because now streaming apps are going to be what cable was 10 years ago. Of course. So what was originally... Cheaper. Cheaper is going to be more expensive. Maybe not the internet part, but just... Being able to pay for all these streams. Fucking great. This is great. Awesome. Thanks for monopolizing on us and our freaking... Well, the, <sighs> the good thing is, uh, when I was doing a little investigative journalism I'm here, so I, can, I can say that because I a show. <laughs> um, how very... He sounds so happy. Are you going to I am like, because hey, I'm hey, watching hey. Smallville and I'm seeing Clark being an investigative journalist. So I'm like, man, maybe I should have been an investigative journalist. And then I'm like, wait, I already am, Adrian. Yay. Proud oh. of myself. Um, so here's the thing. Hulu is apparently co-owned mm-hmm. by ABC, CBS, NBC, a bunch of... Cable the, networks? A bunch of cable networks. Right. So that's why they're not going to cut a lot of their services from Hulu. Wait. Netflix is the oh. odd man out. Yeah. Oh, how interesting because ABC is also owned by Disney. It is. Yeah. But Hulu handles ABC properties differently because ABC also has a stake in Comcast cable. So Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is not on... Um, Hulu. Like, it'll be there for, like, five weeks, like, the first episode, and then they'll start yeah. removing it episode by episode to get up. So you can only have access to five episodes. And even then, you have to watch it with commercials. Even if you pay for no commercials. Which I, I do. Yeah. They force it like that. So yeah. I, I really don't want to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. for that reason. Um... Uh, among bad. among the reasons that I'm bored. This is such a bummer. It is. Um, even CW took out all of their stuff from Hulu, and they have their own app, but their app, thankfully, is free. It's uh, the CW app, so you can watch their shows there. Unfortunately, there's no <coughs> free... I mean, there's no, no commercials option. Excuse me. That's a double negative. But... Mm-hmm. There isn't any, still a double negative. <laughs> there is, no matter what I say, it's a double negative. Man. And I have a writer to the left of me, and she's, she's cringing at every time I'm mentioning a double negative. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's no option in this, on the CW app. But yeah, every channel, they're going to start doing that. Every company is doing that. DC, DC Comics is doing one. DC Comics is doing a streaming app, and they are doing a, a Titans live-action TV show, mm. and that's going to be exclusive to the app. How interesting. Huh. And yet, Marvel has a deal with Hulu, and they're going to do Runaways on Hulu. So, oh, wait, Marvel's going to have the... Defenders-esque shows on Netflix. Hulu's going to have Runaways. And word is, ABC Family isn't going to do She-Hulk. They're going to do She-Hulk on Hulu. They're still working on the on the production of She-Hulk. Everyone's just getting a little bit of everything. Yeah. this is It's, it's a really odd thing that's going on with the streaming services. Right now, I'm good with my five. Which is a lot of money, but whatever. Um, WWE Network... HBO Now, 
uh, Hulu, Netflix, and Stars. And Stars is because of American Gods and Ash vs. Evil Dead. Because I will support my man Bruce Campbell through everything. Good for you, bro. I don't have to love. I, I, he's one of the few men I would go gay for. We've oh. acknowledged this. I, I, okay. <laughs> I've, I've told you this. I, yeah, yeah. So. You told me a lot of those things. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty open about yeah, it. Yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> regarding the September 19th release of Wonder Woman going back on track. Oh, okay. Huh? It has a, a, an epilogue, which is kind of similar to the Marvel one-shots which they were doing before uh-huh. Age of Ultron. I I I kind of like this. I like more content on the Blu-ray release. Give me more reason to buy the Blu-ray. Yeah, true. It's I mean the whole point of even making the Blu-ray and the DVD releases is to be able to have um a physical copy at home and since right now everyone is so pop everything's so popular like torrenting or just streaming, streaming. online they need to do something besides all the fun bonus features to give more incentive on buying their the, physical the physical release. Um, it's a tough market. Guardians 2 um, Blu-ray release is August 22nd. I'm buying it day one. And I hope to show it to you guys. And we have a show then and you tell me what you thought of it. So, um, so finally watch the movie? Yeah. Um, Liz, you loved Guardians 1. I do. Annie, I did you like Guardians 1? I forget. You really did? Yeah. I I'm, actually really liked it. And I'm really... I remember I was the one that was super skeptical because it was like a sci-fi uh, themed one. But I saw it with a piece of crap. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed was... myself. And yeah, it's because of Pratt Pratt. It's because of Chris Pratt. I'm, I love Oh my Pratt, god. Pratt. Oh, and I'm by the way, I have been watching Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec, and I am in love with this is show. This your, is this your first time on Parks and Rec? What are you talking about? Oh, it, like this it, time, it, like a run through? Yeah, yeah. This is my first one. Oh my god, it is so good. Dude, oh my god. It's better than The Office. Dare I say it? It escalated so shit. quickly. Some Season one was shit. Fighting words. Season one was shit. I will say that. Season one it of Parks It started off like really slow. Yeah, season one was like really slow. And then halfway through season two, it got increasingly better. Yeah. Especially when the relationship between April and. Pratt. Um and and Andy started to grow like when you saw oh them God. hang out that day oh, yeah. and they were playing they were hide and sh- like um they were playing freaking Marco Polo yeah oh my God oh my God oh my God I, I I've been so freaking giddy and I am so oh my God the the guy that Leslie ends up marrying he's there now I'm so happy I'm waiting for them to get together I ship that. I ship it so hard. I ship it so oh hard. Oh my god. He is so cute. He's adorable. And I love that he's a nerd. But not just any nerd, but like a hardcore nerd. I know! <laughs> like he made his own board game. Like that's some serious next level I shit. I haven't even gotten to that episode yet. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's great. I, I fucking love Parks and Rec. I've seen it twice. It's, it's so amazing. good. It's amazing. Wow. It's so good. Um, but yeah, after they dropped Mark Brendanowitz, who was good, but it, it, when they dropped him, the show got better. I don't know why, but the show uh, really did get better. She hated him. Oh yeah, I thought he was. She didn't hate. Annoying. She really, really did not like Mark. I mean, I I didn't see why, but whatever. Right? Like I, I just I don't know. I like I felt I, I talked to her about it, and I told her like. I understand in the beginning because he was kind of a manho and that's not really cool. Like he kind of messed over Leslie and that's not right, you know? Right. But once he gets with Anne, his relationship with her changes him and he becomes a different person. Right. Just Anne loses, like, loses interest in him though. Yeah. She quickly loses interest in, or she, like, she never really had the spark there and... That was like part, pretty much the saddest part about it because you know, like he finally realized, you know, how it is to actually treat a girl correctly, and then the girl doesn't want him. 
Mm-hmm. So now he has to fucking leave. Karma. If any, yeah, it's, it's if I told her if anything, you can find happiness in knowing that that is justifiable karma. He got exactly what he needed. All right, so we'll be right back because we went a minute and a half over. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're back with uh, Andy Potter. Luke Oak, <laughs> literally the best show to drop this news on me that you're watching Parks and Rec. I cannot wait for you to see Andy and April have their marriage. That I was already so saw it. I saw their marriage. I was so happy, dude. How happy? Dude, okay. I was so happy. Okay, okay, hold on. I was like, Leslie, you better not mess this up. You better not mess this wedding up. You better not stop this wedding. You better let the freaking Mary stop it right there. And then when she let it happen, I got so happy. It's Are you watching Liz? Uh, I I was watching the first season, but I had to drop it for other things at work. So I've been more or less watching. Yeah, I'm out of a job, episodes. so I can do that now. One job. You you had to. Full time job. That takes up a lot of my time. It it did. I actually uh, gave you a book. I gave you Watchmen so you could read it. And this is like your first time reading Watchmen. What do you think about it? It's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I'm only had. I've only read up to the first chapter. I haven't Annie, continued everything yet. Annie, so Annie, w- tell tell the audience exactly what you said when Adrian asked you when he came into when he came into the house. What, 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 is, what was it that I said? I'm sorry. <laughs> Was it, was it about the excerpt from the no. autobiography? Oh, you know what? It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> I was hyping up this fucking book. I know. I, I even... The day I'm so sorry I had like such a... Mo- like, <laughs> like, I don't know if you noticed, but the day after I gave it to you, I posted on Fan Freaks like a picture of Watchmen. Ow. How do you feel about arguably the greatest graphic novel of all time? So many people yes, posted on Fan did. Freaks about how it's good... It's the greatest it. novel ever. It's freaking amazing. La la. And I was like, well, shit. <laughs> I wasn't the only one. I know. I am I'm. I mean, you have to give it to... Like, you, you, come be subscribed. Like, it's literally only, like, the first chapter. All I got is Rorschach is really angry all of the time. Oh, yeah. yeah. It gets worse. He gets, he gets definitely worse. He literally broke some dude's fingers just to find out the answer of whether or not they knew anything about a guy that no one knew about. Yeah, that's that's him. That's Rorschach. He broke a guy's fingers. He could have done anything else. He broke his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> he figured he wasn't going to use them anytime soon, so... I don't, know if you would, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm not exactly used to that. I'm not a big comic book reader, so... And I know that I, I love Deadpool, and he's, like, super crazy, and he does a lot of messed up crap. I still don't read a lot of comic books, guys. <laughs> I read Harry Potter. No one does that. No one does that in Harry Potter. No. Pe- people just die with the uh, Avada Kedavra. That's it. You know? Man, can you imagine... Like if, if Avada Kedavra existed in Kedavra. comics, in the com- in yeah, if the Harry Potter like continuity and all that were to exist in comics, Doctor Strange would be a, a teacher of the dark arts. Yeah. I totally agree <laughs> yeah. With that. Damn, really? Yeah. Do you totally. guys really believe that? Why? He's the Sorcerer Supreme. Sorcerer Supreme. Okay. He's literally the greatest magician in in Marvel. I, DC, not, uh, Dr. Fate's nowhere, no, Dr. It's Fate's no stronger than, than him. It's just a magician title. He, that's, he, he worked hard for, to get, yeah. to become a sorcerer. And he was a doubter. He didn't believe it. He, he was super against, like, sci- uh, spells and shit. He was a scientist first. He was a doctor. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys and can then see the he face looked- that <laughs> Me. I am being so critical right now because I'm trying to understand how you guys are sorting him, and I'm just like, I'm trying to figure it out. Just go, okay, just keep talking. He mm-hmm. fights demons on the regular. Yeah. He is the last line of defense mm-hmm. in on the Earth of Marvel mm-hmm. against a demon named Dormammu who lives in the dark dimension who okay. literally eats planets. Okay. 
excuse me, not planets, fucking dimensions. Mm. <laughs> you know, all, he's. I wonder lit- what those taste like. What? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, ne- we'll never know. I mean, if you want to, if you want to sort Dormammu into <laughs> into saying... into Hufflepuff because of how much he eats, all right. <laughs> no. Also, Galactus should be there. <laughs> oh my god! But on the real though, I I firmly believe that if he were to become the the professor of the dark arts, he. Well, mm-hmm. definitely. Mm-hmm. You guys are saying it wrong. You guys, it's defense against the dark arts, not professor of the dark arts. They don't teach that in in, in okay, Hogwarts. The defense <laughs> of the they they should. <laughs> no, they they should not. The dark arts are, but they're 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 forbidden primarily for a reason. So, madam, Doctor Fate would probably be like the Dumbledore of the school. Okay. Because he's stronger than Strange because he's literally a lord of order. Wait, are we talking about the helm or are we talking about... Kent Nelson wearing the helm. Okay. I can see that. The helm itself, you want to treat it like the sorting Mm, hat? No. (laughs) Everyone would die. (laughs) That helm. So literally, (laughs) Dr. Fate is kind of a prick because all he does... All he does is dictate towards fate, literally what his name implies. Okay. He cannot, like, it, Superman's entire planet was destroyed, right? Right. Krypton, gone. Right. Dr. Fate would let that happen over and over again. Okay. So the fate, so that fate and destiny would still happen. He would not save Change anything exactly of course, I understand. and he has like time manipulation so he could do that to a lot of people and save a lot of people but he refuses to act upon so because it would bring chaos right he he belongs to one of the councils of lord of order or whatever he's a lord of order if, okay so he mm. fights against chaos and whatever upends chaos he, and he was in Injustice 2, and, and I don't like using him in Injustice 2. He's like a shit I, I understand what you guys are trying to say, but Dumbledore wasn't that... He's not like that. No, I'm um, just saying not 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 for the character to archetype. I'm saying because he's so much more powerful than everyone else. Oh, but there have been... He... Okay... Dumbledore is strong Dumb, as Dumb, fuck. Dumbledore you know? was the strong. If I'm not mistaken, he was the strongest wizard of his time, but he was not the strongest wizard ever. But I mean, he was the strongest living wizard that we had. But if you're if you're just saying the strongest wizard ever, it's not. No, him. I mean, it, it it was actually Merlin. If I'm not mistaken, in their world, Merlin was the strongest wizard ever. There was a comic where Doctor Strange took the energy of Dormammu and he became like super reality bender or whatever. So I mean, clearly he would he 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 would thwart Merlin. So this is like <laughs> this isn't even like an argument. Yeah, there's no fucking wand. <laughs> there's no there there's absolutely Wait, you no, you didn't see the Doctor circles. Strange movie? You didn't see Doctor Yeah, I saw it with you guys. <laughs> oh, so you Yeah, he's he's yeah. that's magic. It is. I'm not saying that it's not magic. What I'm saying is that if you're comparing the characters based off of strength, there is no one that can compare to him in the Harry Potter universe. Dumbledore would not fit that category at all. He wouldn't fall under it because that would make him weaker. Dumbledore, he's a strong wizard. And like I said, if I'm not mistaken, he was the strongest wizard of his time. But he's not the strongest wizard ever in their world. It. It, it, it sh- if I'm not mistaken, it was Merlin. And you just said that the freaking guy could bend dimensions. This, that Merlin can't fucking do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know he what? had problems with his sister, and she was just a fucking witch. Like, what? You gotta what? understand, these what? are comics, what? and comics what? tend to, like, have these crazy power boost things. Yeah, anyway. thanks, Goku. Fuck. <laughs> Anyway, um, I want to go back to Blu-ray releases. Um, Yay, the boring stuff. It's not boring. <laughs> Batman versus Two Face. I just showed Liz and Annie oh, the trailer. That's a cool movie. Though. I I really want to see it. It comes out October seventeenth. 
But is it like only coming out like on DVD? Only yeah. DVD straight Blu-ray. To... Oh, it's straight to DVD. Yeah. Aww. It's not like the Killing Joke where it had a theatrical release. Oh. Um, that but... was a good movie. Man, if only the reverse happened. <laughs> uh, okay. Damn. Sorry, guys. Thank yeah. you, Eobard. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. She didn't like the thing that happened with no, Barbara. Right? I don't like it either. Yeah, but I thought Barbara. the movie was okay. Yeah. I'm not really Take out the first 30 minutes, it's literally the graphic novel panel for panel. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, I'm super excited for it. And Shatner voicing Two-Face. I never, I never knew I needed it until now. Um, <laughs> and lastly, this is... We're almost done. I have a minute left. Um, the Shazam movie director is David Sandberg. He directed Lights Out, both the short film... And the feature film... That's freaking weird. Um, yeah, I... What? And he so just recently concept. directed Annabelle Creation, which we're going to watch. Why are they bringing a horror... horror director to make a comic book hero movie? That doesn't make any sense to me. Well, Scott Derrickson directed uh, Doctor Strange, and he was a horror movie director. A lot of horror movie directors are directing... Really? Horror. Yeah, comic book heroes. I don't know why, That's but interesting. it's... Interesting. It's it's a unique parallel that's going on. But the the thing I want to leave off, since I have very little time, <laughs> Black Adam is not going to be in Shazam. What? Then what was all of this hype for? The for Rock, nothing. The Rock <laughs> confirms that Black Adam will get his own movie. Uh, what? Black Adam's having his own movie. What? <laughs> and on that note, say one more time. What? <laughs> She's trying to be Dr. Barnesworth, everybody. I love Dr. Barnesworth. I guess it's bad news, everyone. Um, bad news, everyone. I want to say thank you again, Annie and Liz, for joining me. Of course. Thank you. And I'll see you guys on the next Cannon Fire. <laughs>